Hello, welcome to PS Connect Media and you are watching today's latest news. Moyen records 10% jump in production in February 23 with a production of 1.31 lakh tons of manganese ore in February 2023. Moyle has registered 10% growth over the same period last year. The sales stand at 1.32 lakh tons of manganese ore during February 2023, which was higher by 19% in February 2022. Shri Ajit Kumar Saxena, CMD Moyle, congratulated Moyle Collective on maintaining upward trend in production and mentioned that it is fully geared up for much higher production level in coming months. Moyle Limited is a Schedule A Mineratna Category 1 CPSC under the administrative control of Ministry of Steel, Government of India, and is the largest producer of manganese ore in the country, contributing 45% of the domestic production. NHAI invites bids for development of 75 bayside amenities to improve commuting experience on national highways. NHAI will develop bayside amenities at more than 600 locations on national highways and expressways by financial year 2024 to 25. Bayside amenities will be developed every 40 to 60 km of current and upcoming national highways and expressways. The amenities will include numerous facilities for passengers such as fuel station, electric charging facilities, food court, retail shops, bank atrium, children play area, medical clinic, child care room, toilets with shower facility, vehicle repair facility, driver dormitory, village hut for promotion of local handicraft etc. NHAI has already awarded 160 bayside amenities for development out of about 150 have been awarded in last 2 years. NLCIL CMD visited proposed 10 megawatt solar power plant site. Shri Prasanna Kumar Motupalli, Chairman and Managing Director of NLCIL on March 2, 2023 visited the proposed 10 megawatt solar power plant site. being developed at block 29 navelli under mnre's ppsu scheme and mini smart city scheme the power generated shall be utilized for captive use during the inspection cmd nlcil instructed to expedite the work for timely commissioning of the project the green energy will have positive impact on environment and thrive on company's commitment towards sustainable development our minister launched i diksha on bees 21st foundation day on bees 21st foundation day shri r k singh honorable union minister of power and new and renewable energy launched industrial decarbonization and ee knowledge sharing platform i diksha which will serve as one stop shop for all energy efficiency and decarbonization needs of india energy intensive industries the platform aims to facilitate the exchange of information knowledge and experience and best practices related to the wide gamut of stakeholders such as industries industrial associations technology and service providers and research institutions etc Sanjay Chaudhary joined NRL as director of finance. Mr. Sanjay Chaudhary has joined Newly Gore Refinery Limited as director of finance on March 1, 2023. Prior to joining the NRL board, he was working with Oil India Limited as executive director of finance and accounts and held additional charge of executive director of corporate affairs. He was chairman and director of HPOIL Gas Private Limited, a joint venture between oil and HPCL for CNG and city gas distribution business. He also held strategic leadership roles in oil's overseas subsidiaries as a director in Oil India International PTE Limited Singapore, Oil India International P.V Netherlands and Oil India USA INC. Goa government will sign MOU with Ereda for renewable energy development in state. Dr. Pramod Sawant, Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, urged the departments and agencies of the state to sign an MOU with the Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited Ereda for faster development of renewable energy in Goa. 
he was addressing the CII Goa conference on clean renewable energy in Panji. Addressing the conference, CM appreciated Ereda's innovative approach for not only understanding the sectoral requirements for faster RE development, but also the qualitative governance enabled by Ereda in the RE sector. Ereda handed over the draft MOU to the state government today and the final MOU is expected to be signed shortly. ONGC Director Production held meeting with CMD EIL and team for mutual future projects. Forging more areas of mutual business interest for future projects, ONGC Director Production Pankaj Kumar welcomed Engineers India Limited leadership team led by CMD Vartika Shakla for a senior management meeting in Mumbai. The discussions were focused on debottlenecking and fast tracking ongoing projects. GRSC celebrates India at 75 Phase 9. Indigenization and CSR remain the prime focus. Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited, a Miniratna category first defense PSU and a leading warship building company of India, organized a series of webinars and health checkup camps for unprivileged from 24 February 2023 to 2 March 2023. As a part of Phase 9 of India at 75 Week Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebration. The celebration of India at 75 Phase 9 commenced with a webinar on fuel cells application to marine vessels on 24 February 2023. During the India at 75 celebration, GRSC also organized a shipyard visit for the members of the Calcutta Club and showcased shipyard's contribution to the nation's self-reliance capabilities in shipbuilding and allied areas. Hindustan Zinc CEO Arun Mishra elected the Vice Chairman of CII Rajasthan. Hindustan Zinc CEO Arun Mishra adds another feather to his cap. He has been elected the Vice Chairman of the Confederation of Indian Industry, Rajasthan for 2023-24. to Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down.